Hi, Sarah here from Budget Savvy Diva. So I wanted to share with you the I got a unique little email today from Extreme Couponing wanting me to be on the show. And I'm nicely going to say no. And I wanted to tell you all why. Um, you know, my site isn't Budget Savvy Diva is not about extreme couponing or extreme anything. It's about, you know, showing you great deals, you know, frugal recipes, daily frugal recipes, budget tips, basically all around making your life awesome and while saving money, not, you know, buying 50 packets of coupons to get, you know, bottles of mustard, you know. Nobody needs that many bottles of mustard. Now, um, <laughs> I'm like remembering that show that I saw on Extreme Couponing. Anywho, I mean, the main problem I find with TSA's Extreme Couponing is that the build up extreme couponing to be extremely doable and it's not because you find out later on that people are using false coupons that you know the stores have changed their coupon policy for that person all these things have come out so the thought for a person I feel really bad that starts out in couponing thinking they're going to get these great deals you know kind of realizes you know, it's not going to happen, that, meaning that couponing isn't awesome. It is awesome, but realistic couponing, and that's what my site's about. And it's also what my book's about. Um, I have a book coming out January 15, 2013. It's going to be on Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble. It's going to be in stores like Barnes & Noble bookstores, like physically, but it's also going to be online, Amazon, Kindle, Nook. Uh, you know, um, it's called Budget Savvy Diva's Guide to Slashing Your Grocery Bill by 50% or More. And, you know... Them, it's it talks about how to even go into a grocery store without even any coupons and how to save you know the fifty percent or more and it is doable because you know I use coupons but I can't you know sometimes I go even without coupons to see what kind of things I can score and I can score for some pretty awesome deals that for items that don't necessarily have coupons so I would love to uh, get your take on extreme couponing. Uh, you know, extreme couponing TLC version to extreme couponing, you know, normal version of extreme couponing. How are they different? And how do you think it's changed couponing? Because, you know, I've seen, I just posted um, that Walmart changed their coupon policy yet again, you know, and you know that it's a result of extreme couponing. And I just would love to hear your thoughts. Okay, bye.